everyone, and welcome back to the barn. Today, I wanted to talk about giving to pressure. Whenever you are in a showmanship class, you always see those horses being very responsive and listening to the handler's hand. But I wanted to break it down into the very first thing that you teach your horse is giving to pressure. So whenever you are in showmanship, you always see a chain and a show halter, right? Well, that is after that you teach your horse to give to that pressure initially. So whenever I pull on this chain, she is going to put her head down. But that is the second step in a two-step process. Let me break it down even further. When I am teaching a young horse how to give to pressure, I forget about that basic wide strap nylon halter. And I put on a rope halter. You're going to get a lot more response and the horse is less likely to lean against you. So let me show you how to start to get your horse to give to pressure. One of the first steps that I teach my horses in regards to respecting me is to put their head down when I put pressure on the bottom of the lead rope. What I mean is when I pull down towards the earth, they better move their head with it. Pulling straight down, they need to move their head down as well, like that. At first, you may just sit here and lean and lean and lean on it but you have to keep pulling on it until they give to that pressure, even if it's a slackening on the line. Let me show you again. So I pull down and I keep holding it there and I release as soon as she gives me what I want. A very important part of showmanship, even going beyond respecting you, is when your horse moves forward when you ask them to. So if you're not sure how to do that, it is very simple. All you have to do is the same concept as pulling their head down, but forward. At first, it isn't very pretty, but you have to get them understanding the basic concept that when you pull them forward, they need to release off of that pressure. So what I do is I stand in front of them and she's already like, I know what to do. But I pull on the lead rope, and as soon as they get off of it, I let go. Let's do it one more time. So I stand in front of them, pull on it, and as soon as they let go, I let the slack get into the lead line. And you keep doing that until they respond as easily and quickly as she does. Let me give you a couple of uh, pictures here of what that looks like in the meantime. Like I said, it's not always pretty, but you sit and you have to keep that pressure on, no matter how creative you get, until they release off of it. At the trot is the same concept. However, you are walking forward and keeping that same pressure on while clucking and encouraging them to trot with you. And as soon as they take that first trot step, release the pressure, praise them, and tell them that is exactly what I want. And after that is simply a matter of repetition. Walk. This is only the first step towards getting your horse to be more responsive. There is one thing that you need to keep in mind. Don't give up, but don't ask for too much. You have to keep asking for it until they do what you want. However, don't ask for too much of it once they do it. The first step is only this much. They just have to lower their head a little bit. They just have to give you slack on the rope when you're asking them to trot. Don't get over ambunctious or you'll just end up in a fight. So keep it simple and remember, even if they do it just a little bit that one time, they can do it again and again and again and every time they'll get a little bit better. But don't give up. It can be frustrating. It can take a while before you get the results that you want. But that doesn't mean that you should give up. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. If you do have any questions, leave them below. Otherwise, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I love your feedback. But most importantly, I hope you have a good one. Pick the head back up. And then pull it down. Good. And one more time, because this is camera, and, oh, she's like, oh, there, good girl. Perfect.
Perfect. 